Hey guys, what's up? It's Alpha Critics from AlphaCritics.com here with another great video, and this video is actually going to be on iOS 13.4.1. So yes, Apple finally did uh, bring the update to iOS 13.4. Uh, so with that update comes a lot of uh, new features and bug fixes that I'm glad that are finally here. Now, if we take a look at the timeline of what Apple is doing, uh, they just announced 13.4 about a few weeks ago, and they also did 13.4.5 beta 1 uh, just about a week ago. So you can see that Apple is very active when it comes to updates. iOS 13.4.5 beta 2 is also on its way. Now, iOS 13.4.1 and iOS 13.4.2, there is no betas to them at all. So that means it was just a direct update. So 13.4.5 will also be imminent maybe another few weeks from now. And it just depends how well this update performs. Uh, so take a look at the software update information. And then we go to iOS 13.4.1. You can see what it has to offer. So you can see it offers some bug fixes, fixes an issue where devices running iOS 13.4 could participate in FaceTime calls with devices running iOS 9.3.6 or earlier, or on Mac devices with OS 10 El Capitan 10.11.6. So basically on when you're running 13.4, you couldn't communicate with older uh, iPhones on 9.3.6 and on older Macs with 10.11.6. It also addresses a bug issue in the settings app where the Bluetooth uh, wouldn't be enabled from the quick action. So when you force touch it, and then you can get some more updates with that those features. So uh, I have iOS 13.4.1 downloaded, so you could go ahead and install it now. So now we can go into settings, and then we can go into general, and then about. So now you can see that the software version is iOS 13.4.1 and the build number is 17E262. Uh, so you can see that we have that information there now and I'm officially on iOS 13.4.1. Now, the size of the update is only 95 megabytes on the iPhone 11 and the XS Max, and it was pretty small on my iPhone 7 Plus as well, so that gives you a brief idea. Now, the main thing that's new about iOS 13.4.1 is that you can FaceTime call with iOS 9 uh, and older Macs as well. So that was a big thing that you couldn't FaceTime with people on older devices and on iOS 9.3.6. Uh, so that's fixed. So that's huge that you can FaceTime with them again. So that's a super odd bug that you couldn't FaceTime with older devices, but it's really good that it's been fixed. Now, another big fix is that it addresses the Bluetooth from the quick action. So if we do this, so if we tap and hold on settings and then we want to uh, address the Bluetooth, now, when you take a look at the Bluetooth, uh, before it would just crash and you couldn't do the quick access, uh, quick force touch. So now that it works, that's a huge uh, upgrade and I'm glad that it works now. So before it just would crash and it wouldn't allow you to uh, toggle on uh, or turn off the Bluetooth. So it just has that option now so you can uh, now work with it. Now, an issue on the iPad was turning on the flashlight, so you can just turn it on uh, now, but before you weren't able to do it on 13.4.1 without it crashing, so that's good that it officially works. Now, there was an issue with the VPN, so there's a bug that didn't allow you to have full encryption when running the VPN when you're browsing. Uh, so now it's unclear whether it's fixed or not, but that's a big issue uh, that was present in iOS 13.4. Now, I will do further tests on whether it has been fixed, uh, so that is a big issue that needs to be fixed. Now, going into the App Store and taking a look at the app clips, it now has been updated, and with that update, you can see you get the following features, but most importantly, you can use clips on the iPad with a mouse or trackpad or Bluetooth keyboard for new ways to create video. So that is specifically for iPad OS 13.4. That's now present in 13.4.1 with the 2.1.1 uh, update, which was just a day ago. So that's huge that you can now use it with clips. Uh, so you can use all those external devices, the Magic Trackpad, Magic Mouse, and Bluetooth connected devices with clips now so that makes it a lot more usable. Now with CarPlay you can't use the third party uh, app for maps anymore so you can't use Waze like it was supposed to but it's supposed to be fixed in 13.4.1 it's just waiting on an update from Waze. With Instagram uh, it would normally play the audio say if you're watching a story once you go back to your home screen uh, so that officially has been fixed so I'm glad that they fixed that. Now in terms of text messages and not getting notifications uh, when someone texts you uh, and your lock screen doesn't light up or you don't get any vibration from your phone uh, that has uh, not been fixed either in 13.4.1. Now the performance overall uh, is the same as 13.4 so there's nothing too special about it performance wise. Now the big 
issue was battery life. Uh, now, if we take a look at the battery life, now, in terms of the battery life, uh, it's basically about the same. It hasn't really been draining uh, that much as it was earlier, but it was a major issue on the iPad. So uh, you would have to do about a week testing to see whether the battery is draining or not. I will also do a separate video to show you if the iPad battery is still draining because that was definitely an issue. It was draining so fast uh, than it normally was. And that was just uh, just odd to see an Apple device change so much after an update like that. Uh, so you're probably wondering uh, whether it's worth updating. Well, yes, it is worth updating if you have the Bluetooth issue of doing the quick actions right here and then the Bluetooth wasn't working on 13.4.1. It's worth it if you have a VPN and you wanna use it. It's also worth it to just get overall better performance and if the battery does live up to being much better, uh, which they didn't even mention in the little info, then it definitely is worth it. So either way, if you're stuck on 13.4, I highly recommend that you update because it'll be a lot better experience. Now, a lot of smaller bugs could also be fixed and make your iPhone more secure as well. But 13.4.5 is also on its way very soon with 13.4.5 beta 2 just around the corner as well. And there also might be 13.4.2 if it doesn't fix the VPN issues as well. So uh, you can see that Apple has a lot on their table and hopefully the battery issues that I was showing with in the iPad has been fixed uh, and also in the iPhone as well so uh, you can see that is what Apple has to offer now I will link that iPad video down in the description down below please be sure to subscribe please like this video please smash the like button down below once again this is Apple Critics and thanks for watching